the kingdom of God is at hand, or the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It was words similarly, similar to these that St. Nicholas, pick whom we celebrate today with his companions, told his fellow friars when they were just about to be hauled off to be martyred. This was in Gorkum in Holland in the 1500s. The town had been taken over by fanatic Calvinists, which was not uncommon at that time, of, uh, at that time, in that age. And anyone who professed faith in particular in the Eucharist and in the authority of the Pope were hauled off and killed. And so it was for these this community of friars, Franciscan friars, as well as, I believe, three diocesans and one Norbertine, James by name, and several other command, those, that's the group, about 12 of them, I think. Anyways, they were, they were taken from their, their friaries, their monasteries, hauled off to another monastery, to a barn behind, well, it was a turf shed behind the monastery in another city and when they refused to give up the faith and refused to deny the Eucharist and the authority of the Pope they were carelessly hung on the rafters and ladders <clears throat> and thus gave up their lives and they willingly went because they knew exactly what our Lord says here in the gospel we just heard that the kingdom of hand, heaven was at hand for them they were now leaving this life and going directly to God. And that is the message that God, our Lord gives us in the gospel today. If we too remain faithful, we too, the kingdom of heaven is at hand for us too. It will lead us there too. Let us then in all things remain faithful, always and unswerving, never willing to give up that faith, even in the face of the most difficult trials. Always remain firm that it too will lead us to the kingdom of heaven. Praise be Jesus and Mary.